welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and I am here in Blackpool. I am at Stargate. Can you see the sign behind me? It says welcome to Blackpool, a great place to visit, a better place to live. Yes, I'm right on the border here with St Anne's. That's why they've got the sign there because that way in front of me is St Anne's. And I'm down here at the tram terminus this is where all the trams turn around it's where we've got the tram station for the flex city trams this is the station behind me and um it was built around about 2010 or something like that um it's uh not quite as old as what i thought it was but anyway in this video i am going to be getting on a tram here and headed to the new north station stop Okay, so I'll give you a quick look around before I get on the tram. Let's have a little look around this area, shall we? We're looking up Squiresgate Lane. So straight up there takes you past the airport. And if you carry on up there, it'll take you to the motorway. Just over there, we've got some flats, Lemon Tree Court. Who remembers a Lemon Tree Pub? Yeah, that used to be over there. And that way was Pontins down there where they've got a whole load of new houses there. And this is the sand dunes. Get, get down here. To Stargate and check out the sand dunes. Yeah, we've got the, the dunes here. It's a really nice part of Blackpool Promenade. I'll just show you around. And I've just uh, checked. Bloody hell, that plane's noisy. Whoa. Did you see that? Wow. What a racket. Uh, I've just checked and this, this tram depot was actually completed in 2012, so it's even later than I thought. And we've got a bit of spare land here. Look, there used to be a crazy golf course here. Look, who remembers the crazy golf course? That was on th this spare land here, look. That's prime land, that, here in Blackpool, look. And we've got toilets over there. I think that's toilets over there, isn't it? Yeah. So this used to be the loop, of course, where the trams would just turn around and go back. But now, as you can see, it goes into state-of-the-art new station look at that there yeah there you go let's have a look at the beach shall we just down here wow i love it down here look at this great place to walk your dogs oh check this out folks stargate slipway look at this whoa Hey, wouldn't you love to be here in at Blackpool with these views we've got? I just look at this beach, it's vast. And as we look down this way towards St Anne's, I can see Southport over there. The beach gets bigger and bigger as you head towards the estuary. Just look at that. Wow. Check out these sand dunes, aren't they awesome? here at Stargate in Blackpool on the border. They're actually in St Anne's, the sand dunes. I'm actually over the border at the moment as I walk through the sand dunes. But anyway, I'm going to head towards the, the tram now. Now there is actually a tram at the stop at the moment, but that one is going all the way to Fleetwood and it's labelled T1. They've got three labels, T1, T2, T3. T1 goes from Stargate to Fleetwood and back. T2 goes from Stargate to North Station and back, I think, I think it comes back. <laughs> T3 goes from North Station to Fleetwood Ferry and back. I think that, so I'm a little bit confused. I don't know whether, now they alternate, they alternate, you see, they do alternate. So every 15 minutes you can get on a tram, but that tram might not go all the way to Fleetwood Ferry, it could go to North Station. I think they're going to tinker with the timetable a little bit, we'll have to wait and see, but that's the way it is at the moment. I'll put the timetable on the screen now so you can have a look, see if you can fathom it out, because quite frankly, um, I had to do a Google search to find out what tram to get, because 
I couldn't find out what tram to get on the app. I've got the Blackpool Transport app, but it wasn't telling me anything about the trams on there. So I had to do a Google search to find out about it. Check it out, it's the archway. Welcome to Blackpool. That's the arch that lights up during the illuminations. In fact, I think it's lit up now. It's always lit up that arch there. So I'm hoping that the next tram that comes to stop here now is going to be a T2 tram. And that tram will take us to the new stop, North Station. I just saw a rabbit. Check it out. Look at this, we've got a garden area here. <laughs> There's a rabbit. There's a rabbit on Blackpool Promenade. Can you believe it? Wow. Look at that, can you see it? It's a rabbit. And this is the, uh, quite fancy, isn't it? The tram depot here. Well, I tell you what, uh, those beer monsters get everywhere, don't they? Look at this. Rhinebacker Pilsner, 4.5%. Well, I've seen stronger. I wish they'd put the rubbish in the bin when they finished with it. Anyway, I want to show you something just over here. Check this out, this is interesting. Man. Now then, you see this tram coming in here now? That's got T2 on it. You probably can't read it on the screen because of the refresh rate of the video. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Someone's just waving at me there. <laughs> I've been spotted. So that's a T2 tram from North Station. Look at that, it says there, T2 Stargate. Uh, so that's gonna be my tram to North Station. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you in here, if I can get the camera to point through this fence here. So we're looking at the front of the, the tram depot. Now, can you see that? We've got a Balloon 717, a vintage tram there. Check it out. This is where they're keeping some of the vintage trams because of the, they've got some problems at Tram Town, I believe, with the roof. So they're having to keep um, quite a few of the vintage trams here that are running the Heritage Tour. So there you go. Balloon 717 is here and ready. I think they've got the illuminated trams in there as well. The, the Great Western Train Tram and all that in there. But there you go. Is this going to be my tram to North Station? Well, we'll have to wait and see. I've just been asking some of the people here, the staff, and they say they, they don't know. So I think uh, we'll just have to try it out, won't we? I think they're just changing the driver over. So we'll see the tram. It was. It used to go around the loop, of course, in the olden days. It used to go right around the loop and come back on the other side. But of course, now they've got the station there, they've got a different way of turning the tram round. I'll show you how they do it. You might already know, but I'll show you. Just in case, they have to run the tram down here, past this... Uh, set of points here and then the driver switches sides and then they run it onto the the other track to go north simple so while I wait for the the tram to turn around and get onto the right bit of track um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now Okay, here we go. Here comes the tram. This is how they turn around. Well, a lot of people actually don't come down this far on Blackpool Promenade. So it's, uh, this is for all you people who don't come down this far in Blackpool. It is pretty quiet actually. It is actually pretty quiet. Once you get past the Pleasure Beach, it does get pretty quiet. Blackpool Promenade. But it's definitely worth a look down here if you get a chance. Oh right, oh, oh was there? Yeah. 
Yeah, so apparently I missed the very, very first trade because I was still in bed at that time, you see. <laughs> Someone told me that it was on the very first tram. Yeah, it's 6.45 this morning. Well, uh, I couldn't really get up at that time, I have to say. OK, here we go. They've just changed the, the display. It now says T2 North Station, and it's coming onto this track now, the northbound track. Here we go. Check it out, yeah. We're going to North Station. Yeah, how about that? So the first tram, the first official passenger tram, they start today. That's why I'm here. Now, someone just told me there that they were on the very first tram that left here at something like 6.45 this morning. Well, I'll tell you what, I was still in bed at that time. No way I'm getting up at that time just to go on the first tram. But anyway, we're going to get on this one. And uh, the destination is Blackpool North Station. Check it out. Here we go. Oh, so excited. I want the forward facing seat. Oh, gonna be moving in a second. Oh. Press the stop button when you wish to exit. How much is it, please? Single or? Uh, single, please. 350. Thank you. Thank you. Confusing, but hopefully we'll get used to it. So we're making our way north. Oh, Blackpool promenade past these flats here. That's a crescent out there, though. The crescent there, yeah. There's three crescents on Blackpool promenade, and that's the first one you see coming from this direction. Just over there, we've got the Carousel Hotel, the first hotel you get to. There is another hotel there called the Mayfair, but that's not open. Coastal Point, flats, very swanky flats these. We've just made it to the Mirabal. Right, I'll just move seat now because I want to show you out this side. There's a lot of bushes on Blackpool Top and I. I want to show you the Mirabal, look. There you go. Look at this. Can't beat it. A ride right on the Blackpool tram. North Station. Next stop, Burlington Road West. Thank you. Yeah, so this tram is actually 9.45. I forgot to mention the time. I'll probably put it on the screen for you before. It's uh, the 9.45 from Stargate to Blackpool North. Right, let's go back on the other side. There's a Hampton by Hilton. You know, I was watching uh, a video by It's Not Your Boy Leroy the other day. Oh, well, that's the old Kimberley over there, look, still empty since 2014. It's Not Your Boy Leroy. He filmed a video on Saturday going up the promenade, and I couldn't believe how quiet it was. Oh, it was so quiet. But we're coming up to the Pleasure Beach now, folks. Coming up to the Pleasure Beach. Got Coastal Plaza there. Burlington Road West. Quite a few little hotels here. The Roman Hotel. Hello Rooms. Stay more. Hold tight, please. It's getting a little bit busier now as we uh, approach the Pleasure Beach. There's a few more people getting on. It is very, very quiet at uh, 
Stargate. You don't get a whole lot of people getting on there. It's mostly people who are going to work. But here we are, we're just going past the Pleasure Beach. We've got the big blue hotel down there, the Boulevard Hotel right in front of us, and the big one. Check it out. Sunday, the 16th of June. We're not far from the summer solstice. And it's been pretty cold so far this year. Yeah, I can't believe how cold it's been. Ocean Boulevard here. This is the tunnel under the Pleasure Beach, Watson, Watson Road Tunnel there. That used to split the Pleasure Beach in half back in the older days before they built over the top of it. Here we've got Mr. Cheapy. My Candy, check out My Candy if you're coming to Blackpool in Ocean Boulevard. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Pizza Hut. So, how are we looking for just coming up to 10 o'clock on a Sunday as we head past the Pleasure Beach and the White Tower? On the other side, we've got the sandcastle. So we're stopping now for the Pleasure Beach. So we're riding the Blackpool tram to Blackpool North Station from Stargate for the first time. And we're just about to go past the sandcastle. And they're doing a lot of work on the sandcastle at the moment. They're putting a new water slide in, I believe, on the roof. Yeah can't quite see it for me but all that scaffolding there I believe is for a new water slide it's going right it starts on the roof yeah amazing and where are we North Station well you heard it there I'm on the right tram if I was on the wrong tram, I'd be going all the way to Fleetwood Ferry, wouldn't I? <laughs> now we're going past the south pier. Oh! Not to sound the horn there. South pier. Oh, loads of people at this stop. Wow. It's getting busy. I've switched sides again. So this is South Pier. And we're off. We're off to North Station. On the Blackpool Tram. We're just going past the Viking Hotel there. Very popular hotel that. And next to that we've got the Queen's Hotel. Remember the Mancini's who used to run the Queen's? Coaches in there as well. Oh, hello. Well, it's fun there. Is it kicking off? Kicking off in South Shore. We're now at Waterloo Road. Just down there is Notary Arnie's. Blackpool's famous ice cream. The best ice cream in Blackpool. That's a dozen arms. Oh, we've got a new car park, folks. Look at that there. You see that space over there? There was meant to be a hotel there, but now it's a car park. Wow. It was meant to be an easy hotel. It looks like it fell through. And now, it's turned it into a car park. Look at that, I didn't know that. Wow. You learn something every day, don't you? So this is the Waterloo Road stop on the Blackpool tram to North Station T2 There's the 80s there being closed. Oh, as a tram blocks our view. 
go the other way. Well, the Hobbits, check it out. Did they review that? Check it out if you haven't seen it. Lots of little hotels here. The Cod Bar, Chippy. We're heading to North Station. On the Blackpool tram, the Royal Carlton. Next to that we've got the Lord, another hotel that's been empty for, wow. As long as I can remember. And this is now St Chad's Road, which is of course named after St Chad's Terrace, the, the building that used to stand right there in front until they knocked it down. So the St Chad's Hotel. It's no more, and they're looking to build a state-of-the-art all-new hotel with an underground car park. And eventually, if you believe what they said, they'll build a bridge from that to another new hotel next door. There you go, that's where the St Chad's Hotel was, in that space there. And next door we've got the, the ever popular Lindeen Hotel, which is owned by the same people. It's getting really busy now, this tram, you know. It is, it really is. Dean's Bar over there. The Fernie House, that looks quite fancy. Dutchman Hotel. The Royal Windsor. You know, when I went to London to take my flight to America, I went to Heathrow and I could see Windsor Castle. It's the first time I ever saw Windsor Castle. That's a Manchester. We're now at Manchester Square. And straight down that road there, Rigby Road, is Blackpool Transport's headquarters. Look at this hotel here, the Royal Sing Bank. It's had an old new front pot on it. Look at that, it's been painted. It's got a new sign. That's a Blackpool Promotions Hotel, by the way. Yeah, Blackpool Promotions bring a lot of people into Blackpool. There you go. We are now at Manchester Square, just opposite the Craggy Dog. Oh, I can see quite a few people outside the hotel, you know. Some people look to be leaving, they're carrying suitcases. Well, I think you can tell by the ambience, by the, the chatter in the background, that this tram now is actually really busy. There's people actually standing up now. We're just about to go past Mark Ellis. Look at that, that's the latest Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis on the front, sports bar. Well, that used to be the Foxhall. It used to be where the oldest building ever built in Blackpool stood. So this is how Blackpool looks at 10 a.m. on a Sunday. It is pretty quiet and on the promenade. Will it be a bit busier? Should be a bit busier later on, shouldn't it? Still waking up at the moment. Land. I bet the kids love it in there, don't they? That's Chapel Street, not far from a one pound burger just down there. Happy days on the evening. Get in there for your bingo. Madam Two Swords Waxworks. We're now at the Central Pier. Oh, it's going to get interesting soon folks, we're going to be making a turn. We're going to be making a turn to Blackpool North and turning off the promenade as we go past the Sea Lab Centre. We'll get to see the tower as well, we're coming up close on the tower now. Golden Mile Amusements, look at the land downs there, look. 
Royal Island of course. It's getting very interesting now, the sun's coming out as well, it's actually quite warm, I can feel the heat from the sun now, that's good. So we're just coming up on Blackpool Tower, check it out, Let's see if I can fit the tower in, it's a bit difficult. <laughs> there you go, Blackpool Tower, you cannot beat it from the Blackpool Tram. Straight ahead is the, the former Sands venue. So they've got the Spyglass bar in there, the Wild West stand, and they've also got the Showtime Museum in that building. It's supposed to be a hotel and Sands venue, I believe. But it's a venue, but there's something holding it up. There's your Woolworths building, 1938, was it? 1938, I think it was. Oh, Blackpool Tower, there you go. We're just going past the tower now and uh, it won't be long before we make that turn. Blackpool's newest amusements, or, or should I say, are they the newest amusements? Or there's another one that's opened up just round here, around the corner. It's called The Real Vegas, I think. You might want to check it out. It's all gambling machines. It's just down there on the right hand side. I think it's called The Real Vegas. You might want to check it out. Yeah, there it is. The Real Vegas just down there. It's all they've got some old fruit machines in there. So, yeah, we're not far away from making the turn at North Pier. We won't be able to see North Pier because it's behind us. I'm just going to keep going this way. Here we go. Getting interesting as we go past. Benanigans, Yates's, the old, how you doing, okay. Clifton Hotel there on the corner, this is Talbot Square and we are making the turn folks into Talbot Square, this is it. Come on. Yep. The point, the point to right. You know, if they didn't have them adjusted right, we'd be going to Blitwood Ferry, wouldn't we? So this is it, we're making the turn. This is the first time I've been up here on the tram, so it's the first for me. Very special day today, the first passenger in the view of the tower there. We've got a stop here behind me. This is the Talbot Square stop. It's just off as it's the uh, Premier Inn. So, only one more stop to go and we're there. Let's have a quick look around. Of course that used to be the H's Wine Lodge in the olden days and now there's a view of the Town Hall. Check it out. I'm just going to cuddle in these seats. A little bit more interesting outside this window here, I think. Going past Sacred Heart Church there. Lots of history in Blackpool, yes, yeah, Sacred Heart Church. So we're now heading up Talbot Road towards North Station. This is it now, the next stop is going to be North Station, quite a few people filming <laughs> along the way. Hope we don't run into any beer monsters. We're just coming up on Mark Kelly's now, there we are. Beer Monster Central around here. Oh hello. <laughs> uh, speak, speak of the devil. Here we go. We've got the go ahead to go into the station. Here we go. Oh, there's people walking across there. <laughs> Having to ring the bell for fun. <laughs> oh. We're coming in. We're coming in, folks. This is it. The final destination. North Station tram stop. <laughs> We're here. Feels like we're coming into a big city. It does, it does a bit, yeah. But we're here, we made it to North Station. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if they've got the tunnel open over there. I'll have to find out. There we go. Oh, now then. 
Oh, that's interesting. Look, it's open. It is, it's open. Look at that. Check it out. I have just got off the tram here at the new North Station stop. Look at this. Yeah, look, we didn't go into the buffers, which is good. So well done to the driver. <laughs> Check it out. Isn't it fancy? It's the first time I've been in here since. And the last time I probably walked along this uh, part here was probably when it was a superstore. You know, it used to be the Wilco, obviously. Wilkinsons, and then it became Wilco. So that's the last time that I was. You okay? I've been watching you. We're from London, it's our first oh, time nice up one, yeah. yeah, we've been watching you and all Brilliant. your things about the chip shops and all like that. We just want to yeah. shake the top yeah. man, nice you to are you. a top bloke. Thank you. Oh, guy from London there, yeah? He said he watches the channel with his family. So there you go, this is it. This is how it looks here at North Station. This is the tram that I came on. It's number 11. So you can say I went on the... Number 11 tram, that's the one that Mr. Wildside went on to North Station on his first trip here. Check it out. Let's have a quick look around. I'm going to head under that tunnel in a minute. So, uh, as you can see this way, you can see the tower over there. Mark Kelly's, of course. There's still a bit of finishing off to do. They've got finishing off to do here. It's not complete yet. But now I'm going to head this way underneath the tunnel to North Station. Check it out, it's Colin, Colin Seaside, yeah, they're all here, yeah, they're all here at North Station Stop for the new service. Check it out. Yeah, we've got the legends here. Colin Seaside, check his channel out, I'll put a, a link in the description. But anyway, now I'm going to go under here to Blackpool North Station because that's what this is all about it's to link up the tram track with North Station it's only a short part of track and it's taken such a long time to happen but finally it has happened and now this tram is going to be heading back to Stargate so it's gone up there T2 remember T1 are the trams that go along the promenade from Stargate to Fleetwood and back. If it's got T2 on it or T3, it goes from either Stargate or Fleetwood to North Station. So there you go. But I'll put a link in the description. I mean, it could change. It could be subject to change. And you can get on a tram every 15 minutes. Uh, there's also winter timetables and things like that, which I think I'm going to have to put a link in the description. I might be wrong on some of those things, but uh, you can check them out for yourself via the link. So there you go, there's a Holiday Inn, it takes you right here, of course, to the all new Holiday Inn. And when you get off the tram, if you want to go to the train station, you go underneath this tunnel here. Let's check it out, shall we? Now I did say in a previous video that this tunnel will probably become frequented by undesirables i hope that doesn't happen actually i hope that they can keep on top of them but it, it just happens doesn't it you know you tend i mean at the moment it's fine look look at it it's completely clear at the moment let's hope it stays that way shall we keep the beer monsters out of this tunnel check it out oh look at this back out into the sunshine to blackpool north here we are look at this there you go that's what it's all about folks the tram takes you right up to Blackpool North so there you go that's my first tram ride to the new Blackpool north tram stop here in blackpool not the very first one i'm not that hardcore i didn't get up at six o'clock in the morning i'll tell you what it's kicking off here there's an uber there's a there's an uber parking up over the road and uh, there's a guy kicking off about it sorry just had to break off there for a second looked like it was going to kick off there between a regular cab driver and an uber driver yeah 
uh, I think the regular cab driver thought the Uber driver was taking liberties. But anyway, there you go. That's it. That's it for the first tram ride to the new North Station stop. What do you think? Uh, I gave you a bit of commentary along the way. I'll put the information in the description because it's still early days and uh, you know I find the timetables really hard to read so I don't know how old people get on but uh, anyway the number T1, T2, T3 hopefully that explains it and it will have it on the display where it's going to so you don't want to end up at Fleetwood Ferry um, <laughs> well actually nothing wrong with Fleetwood Ferry is there yeah we like a ride on the ferry <laughs> waving at someone in the car there uh, i'm going to end it there now folks i hope you like the video don't forget there's a link in the description to information if you want to take the tram ride yourself if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one